Welcome to Celebrity Investing, your go-to source for insights, tips, and updates on navigating the exciting landscape of personal and global finance. Please like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. This is part one of pro tips for reading stock charts and predicting market trends. How to read stock charts like a professional, a beginner's guide to mastering trends and patterns. Stock charts might look intimidating at first, but they hold the key to smarter trading and investing decisions. Whether you're tracking trends, spotting opportunities, or managing risks, understanding these charts can give you a real edge. The good news? You don't need to be a financial wizard to read them like a pro. With the right approach, anyone can learn to decode the patterns and numbers that drive the market. Ready to take the guesswork out of investing? Let's break it down together. Understanding the basics of stock charts. Stock charts are the bread and butter of trading and investing. They're like a GPS for the stock market, telling you where prices have been and helping you figure out where they might go. If you've been staring at charts trying to make sense of those lines, bars, and colors, don't worry, you're not alone. Once you understand how to read them, you'll see they're not as complicated as they look. What are stock charts? Stock charts are visual tools that show you how a stock's price has changed over time. Instead of sifting through pages of numbers, you can quickly see trends, patterns, and important signals at a glance. Think of them like a timeline for stock performance. Whether prices are climbing, dipping, or staying flat, a stock chart maps it all out. Traders and investors rely on these charts to make decisions. Want to know if it's a good time to buy, sell, or hold a stock? A stock chart can give you clues. It's not fortune-telling, it's about identifying trends that help you take calculated risks. Types of stock charts There's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to stock charts. Different types cater to different needs, so let's break them down. Line charts This is the simplest type of stock chart. It connects a series of closing prices with straight lines, giving you a clean picture of a stock's overall direction. Beginners love line charts because they're easy to read, but their simplicity means they leave out a lot of details. Bar charts. Bar charts pack more information into their design. Each bar shows four key points, the stock's opening price, closing price, highest price, and lowest price for a specific time period. If you're ready to move beyond the basics, bar charts offer more insight without overwhelming you. Candlestick charts. Candlestick charts are a favorite among seasoned traders. They share the same four data points as bar charts but present them in a more visual format. The candles are color-coded to indicate whether the stock closed higher, often green, or lower, often red, than it opened. Candlestick patterns can hint at future price movements, making them a powerful tool once you understand them. Each type has its strengths, so it's worth experimenting to find out which one works best for you. Key Components of Stock Charts Stock charts are made up of several parts that work together to tell the full story. Here are the key components you'll need to know. Price. This is the heart of the chart, showing how much the stock costs. It's what you're tracking as you analyze the stock's past performance and potential future movement. Time. The horizontal axis usually represents time. It can range from intraday, minutes or hours, to long-term, months or years. The time frame you choose depends on your trading strategy, short-term traders might focus on hourly charts, while long-term investors lean on weekly or monthly ones. Volume. Volume shows how many shares were traded during a specific time period. It's displayed as a bar chart below the main price chart. Why does this matter? High volume often confirms the strength of a price movement, while low volume could signal hesitation in the market. Chart intervals. This refers to the time period each data point on the chart represents. Daily charts show one data point for each trading day, while intraday charts break it down further into hours or minutes. The interval you choose can dramatically affect how you interpret the data. Understanding these parts is essential. Once you connect the dots between price, time, and volume, you'll start to see patterns and trends that guide your decisions. Mastering Candlestick Charts Candlestick charts are some of the most popular tools in the trading world. They're not just visually appealing, they're packed with information about price movements and market sentiment. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, 
understanding candlestick charts can completely transform how you analyze stocks. Let's break them down into manageable pieces so you can start using them like a pro. Understanding Candlestick Anatomy The beauty of a candlestick lies in its simplicity. Every candlestick tells a story about the stock's price over a specific time period, and breaking it into its parts makes it easier to follow that story. Here's what each component represents. Open. This is the price at which the stock started trading during the selected time period. Think of it as the opening chapter of a story. Close. The price at which the stock finished trading for that time period. This is the ending of the story. High. The highest price the stock reached an indicator of the peak level buyers were willing to pay. Low, the lowest price the stock dropped to, showing how low sellers were willing to go. Let's visualize this. The body of the candle, the thick part, shows the distance between the open and close prices. If the close is higher than the open, the body is usually green or white. If the close is lower, it's red or black. Thin lines above and below the body known as wicks or shadows, show the high and low prices outside the open close range. Every candlestick captures a mini battle between buyers and sellers. Who won? That's for you to decide by interpreting the candle's shape and color. Common candlestick patterns. Not all candlesticks are created equal. Some shapes and patterns appear repeatedly, and they're loaded with meaning for traders. Spotting these patterns can reveal potential reversals, continuations, or indecision in the market. Here are a few key ones to know. Doji A doji forms when the open and close prices are almost the same, creating a very small or non-existent body. This symbolizes indecision, neither buyers nor sellers were able to control the market. Pay attention to where a doji appears. Near the top of an uptrend, it could signal a reversal. Hammer the hammer has a small body near the top of the candlestick and a long lower wick. It shows that sellers pushed the price down but buyers stepped in to push it back up by the close. A hammer at the bottom of a downtrend is often a bullish, positive, signal. Engulfing candles An engulfing pattern happens when one candlestick completely engulfs the body of the previous one. There are two types, a bullish engulfing signals a potential upward reversal. This occurs during a downtrend when a green candle is larger than the previous red one. A bearish engulfing signals a potential downward reversal. This happens during an uptrend when a red candle overtakes the prior green one. Shooting star The shooting star looks like an upside-down hammer. It has a small body at the bottom and a long upper wick. Found at the top of an uptrend, it might indicate a bearish, negative, reversal. Mastering these patterns takes time, but identifying them is your first step toward making better trading decisions. Stay tuned and continue to watch our videos to gain valuable insights into the world of finance. Subscribe, like, and share to continue your journey to financial success.